conservative new media viewers, we've got some news from the world of men's singles tennis. World number one Novak Djokovic of Serbia has defeated world number four Andy Murray of Britain today at the finals of the 2012 Sony Ericsson Open. The match took place on Key Biscayne, just opposite of Miami, Florida. The final score of the match was 6-1 and 7-6 for Djokovic. We will include several links to articles on this match in the video description below the video player as soon as we can. As has been his trend recently, Djokovic, or Nole as he is nicknamed, started off the match quickly but then saw his form decline in the second set. Some of this was not the Serbs' fault but instead was simply Murray raising the level of his own play. For the early part of the second set, Murray's service games were under intense pressure from Djokovic. From the seventh game of the set on, however, Murray found more success with his serve, and he turned the tables on Djokovic. With Murray up 6-5, Murray got to deuce against Djokovic's serve. The Brit was just two points away from taking the set, but the Serb hung tough and took the set to a tiebreaker, which Djokovic won to secure the set and the match. With his victory today, Djokovic improves to 20 and 2 on the 2012 season. The Serb also avenges one of his two losses from earlier in the year when he lost to Murray in the semifinals of the Dubai Tennis Championships. Djokovic is now 2-1 and one against Murray this season, with his other win against the Brit coming in the semifinals of the Australian Open, which Djokovic eventually went on to win. Now for some thoughts, commentary, and analysis on today's match and the men's tennis landscape. First, this was an important victory for Novak Djokovic today. Of all the players on tour, including Roger Federer, the one player who might give Djokovic the most problems this season could be Andy Murray. That was demonstrated in Dubai, and under the tutelage of new coach Yvonne Lendl, Murray seems to be finding the next level to his game, which may allow him to finally capture his first major title. For Djokovic to continue his control of the sport, he needed to beat Murray today and send a message. Mission accomplished. Second, Djokovic is seeking to complete his Nole Slam by capturing his fourth consecutive major championship at this year's French Open. With Rafael Nadal having trouble with his knees again, Roger Federer aging, and Murray likely not much of a factor on the clay, that feat is looking more possible by the day. And if Djokovic is able to capture the French Open this year, then we could be looking at a real possibility of a true Grand Slam champion this season, as the Serb may be able to win all four majors this year. Third, the only two players on tour who seem to be able to consistently challenge Djokovic at this point are Murray and Federer. Although Nadal made a strong push against the Serb at this year's Australian Open, Djokovic has beaten Nadal the last seven times the two have met and 10 of the last 12 meetings. Now, give us your comments on this match below. Are you impressed with Djokovic's performance today? How do you think Andy Murray looked in this match? Do you feel like Djokovic is ready to win the Nole Slam by capturing his fourth consecutive major championship at the upcoming French Open? You tell us below. Also, please be sure to let us know what you thought about this video 
by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down button underneath the video player. Thanks. Finally, we encourage you to come and join the fun on the Conservative New Media Facebook group. You will find the link to the group in the video description. This is Paul F. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media. Thanks for watching.